Anyway, I hope, I really hope we're going to get it. I don't know if they're going to be open to it, but uh, we can try, right? Let's try. Yeah, we have a good pitch, so let's, let's, let's try it out. Hello. Good morning. Uh, good morning. Uh, my name is Sven. Uh, I'm from Larian Studios together with uh, Gigi. And we're here to see uh, Mike Merles. Why don't you have a seat and I will email him. Okay, thank you. Oh, can I, can I take a look? You certainly can. <laughs> All this cool stuff, man. Look, this is a, a mind flare. Yeah. Here, look at this. That's a glass of bubble cake. Uh -huh. yeah. Oh, that's, that's convenient. <gasps> look at that. It's an iron flask. Do you know what an iron flask does? Yeah, they use it to trap creatures. Sir, please yeah. don't touch that. Oh, sorry about that, sorry. Uh, oh, it's a beholder. Oh, a beholder, huh? Cool. Oh my God, look, it's a dragon! No, not a dragon! Not a dragon! Yeah, sorry about that. He's got this thing in his head, so it happens from time to time. What's your business today? Oh, we're here to license Bob's Good luck with that. People have been trying for many years. Oh, really? Hope you came prepared. Um, I came prepared. I did come prepared. This is the second time that we're putting on the armor because we managed to put it backwards. Uh, getting ready for a high profile meeting with the leadership of Wizards of the Coast. Uh, so hopefully it's going to go well this time. Hi guys. It's Fan. How's it going? Good. No one told me it was going to be this kind of meeting. Well, I got a special request. Let me get uh, out my. Uh... Deal maker. Well, uh, yeah. Well, you, you don't need that. You uh, don't need the armor. Eh, well, I'd like to license Baldur's Gate 3. <laughs> Why? You need the armor. <laughs> yeah, I think you really need the armor. Really? Okay. What, what, what is it going to take? This is going to be big. I mean, this is going to be a grand invention. This okay. Is, it's got to be true to D&D &D lore. Can't have you just reinventing things, but we're not looking. Okay. And the players have to feel that their choices matter. It's not. Uh, you know, it's not fake choices. It's real, real decisions. Yeah, got it. Player agency. You know, and furthermore, I mean, you know, the creativity, the freedom, the graphics. I mean, just across the board, we're going to need to see just the best version that anyone's ever expected. We set the bar pretty high. Over delivery? Okay. Yeah. And we've got one more requirement. I think we need to really feature the process of seramorphosis in this game. I think if we do that, that will bring everything together and make it a true d and experience. Sorry, doses, eh? Seramorphosis. Seramorphosis. Okay. All right. All right. Well, I think we can do this deal. Shouldn't be a problem. <laughs> All right. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's good. You wanted to do a tour? Let's, Let's do, do a tour. tour. All right, this is it, eh? So here we are. It's the DZ offices are on okay. this floor here. All right, oh, I see the ampersand there. Yeah, it's right on either side. Mm. The security door, if you want to follow me. Yeah, I will. Watch yeah. the mind flare. Oh, it's the beholder, it's not a mind flare. I have you there. <laughs> nice. Yeah, see, I was testing you. <laughs> I went for the eye. Some more of our products are here. Mm, I I, something's missing here. You don't have a Baldur's Gate. Yeah. Somebody should be putting a Baldur's Gate there. Yeah, I can know, help you with this. Uh, Baldur's Gate, that's the crown jewel. We don't really want to do anything with it until we know it's the exact right partner in place and the exact right story to tell. We'll see. We'll see. Mm. Now, speaking of mind players, this is really the root of everything that I think is important to you. Right. right, an amazing monster, a unique piece of lore. What's the yeah. thing in the eye? Can you just point that out? Ah! Okay. Oops. Ah! Can we just? Yeah. <laughs> How's your day been? Nice to meet you. Yeah. <laughs> Huh, construction. Mike! Mike! The, what? I need you to tell me everything you know about serothrombosis. Come on. It's seromorphosis. Yes, I'm, that one. I'm not going to tell you until you can pronounce it correctly. Seromorphosis. This. Okay, it's the process by which a humanoid creature is transformed into a mind flayer. And they actually, they, they stick this tadpole thing like right in your eye socket and crawls into your mind. It's really, like, mind flayer is one of the most like interesting monsters in Dungeons and Dragons. It actually all goes back to 1974 when the game no, was no, no, first. No, no. I don't need a history lesson. I need to know about serothrombosis. No, no, I am. I'm explaining to you. So you understand seromorphosis in the front. You know, it, it, you're taking mind flayers, capture humanoids, and they transform them to more of their kind. 
it's this process by which their brains are devoured and then transformed. It's a brutal, horrible experience. A humanoid, anyone who undergoes this process is destroyed utterly. Only the most powerful magic, maybe a wish spell, could possibly bring them back. And that's how mind flayers make more of their kind. But as I was saying, to understand mind flares and Ceramorphus in detail, we have to go back to 1974 and understand the dawn. All right, Mike, you're really good. You know your shit. OK, so this is what we're going to do. I'm not going to let you out just now. I'll take you with me. You're going to go on a small trip. I promise I'll let you out, but not just right away. Better strap it. Enjoy the ride, Mike. Oh, God. Bye. Ah. And that is how we got the license to Baldur's Gate 3. Well, more or less. Uh, my name is Sven Vinke. I'm the founder of Larian Studios and the director of Baldur's Gate 3. And I'm so happy we can finally talk about this game because we've been trying to keep this thing a secret for a very long time with the emphasis on trying. And now we don't have to remove all the posters from the walls anymore every single time somebody steps into the office. Uh, we are going to be sharing our development progress in videos like this uh, throughout uh, development, just like we did for Divinity Original Sin 2. Uh, you'll see us uh, show you new features, you'll see us uh, react to your feedback with adaptations to those features, and like this, slowly but surely, we will evolve Baldur's Gate 3 into the bestest and biggest RPG that Larian Studios has ever made. We're working super close with Wizards of the Coast. Uh, they've been spending plenty of time in our offices, and we've been spending plenty of time in their offices. Uh, you can expect from us a grand adventure that's going to be filled with stuff to explore, stuff to experiment with, challenging combat, memorable companions, tough decisions, and much, much, much more. You'll be able to gather your party, play on your own, or with friends, and it's going to be incredibly amazing. If you want to stay informed on what's going on in the world of Baldur's Gate 3, be sure to sign up for the Learning Gazette. It's the thing that's going to replace our Kickstarter updates, and it's where we're going to be posting all of our development updates. That's it for me. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you uh, very soon. Uh, let us know what you think of the announcement. Let us know what you think of the teaser trailer. Post your suggestions and questions, and we'll do our best to respond. Take care, and until next time, bye-bye.